it's Friday the 20th of May and welcome to our brand new weekly news bulletin from the Christian Institute. An amendment has been tabled in the House of Commons to improve the law on free speech, offering more protection for Christian street preachers. In recent years, a number of street preachers have been unjustly arrested because someone claimed to be insulted by their message. Now, a cross-party group of MPs has proposed the removal of the word insulting from Section 5 of the Public Order Act. The issue is expected to be debated by the House of Commons next month. The government is so far resisting the change, arguing that the problem can be solved by better police training. But the Christian Institute's Simon Calvert says the law needs to change. Genuine Christians don't want to insult anyone, but insult is often in the eye of the beholder. Too many Christian street preachers have been silenced and even arrested by police simply because somebody didn't like what they were saying. That's got to stop, and that's why we're backing this proposed change to the law. Christian drug expert Dr Hans Christian Rabe is taking legal action against the government following his dismissal from the Advisory Council for the Misuse of Drugs over past comments he made about homosexuality. Dr Rabe co-authored an academic paper in 2005 which said, While the majority of homosexuals are not involved in paedophilia, it is of grave concern that there is a disproportionately greater number of homosexuals among paedophiles. The Home Office said the paper was an embarrassment and dismissed him despite the Home Office itself publishing similar data in 1998. But Dr Rabe, a Manchester-based GP, said his comments about homosexuality have nothing to do with his role as a drugs advisor. The Christian Institute's Legal Defence Fund will support the case against Home Secretary Theresa May. Many people are unaware that everyday phrases are derived from the King James Version of the Bible, instead attributing them to pop stars, politicians or Shakespeare. In a poll for the Bible Society, less than 20% of people correctly thought the phrase, the writing on the wall, comes from the Bible. A similar amount thought it originated with the Beatles. Over 10% thought a drop in the bucket came from Tony Blair and 14% attributed it to Shakespeare. Luke Walton from the Bible Society commented, It's clear that people's knowledge of the Bible is limited and they just don't realise how significant and wide-ranging its influence has been. The Bible remains the world's bestseller and we can't afford to exclude it from public life. A religious liberty campaigner has been heckled at an EU meeting for saying Christians should not be sent to prison for peacefully expressing their opinions. Dr Gudrun Kugler, who sits on the advisory panel of the European Union's Fundamental Rights Platform, was delivering a five-year report on intolerance against Christians in Europe, which included reference to several religious liberty cases from the UK. Feminist and homosexual activists in the room jeered at Dr Kugler when she spoke about the intolerance faced by Christians and some of the crowd said that Christians ought to be thrown in jail if they make a negative comment against a minority group. A man and a woman who were arrested last year on suspicion of helping Douglas Sinclair to commit suicide at the Dignitas Clinic in Switzerland will not be prosecuted. The man had made travel arrangements and accompanied Mr Sinclair to Switzerland and the woman helped him with the Dignitas paperwork. A Crown Prosecution Service statement issued after reviewing the evidence said, We have decided that although there is sufficient evidence to prosecute both these people, it would not be in the public interest to do so. And newly re-elected MSP Margot Macdonald says she wants to launch a fresh attempt to change the law in Scotland to make assisted suicide legal despite failing just last year. Mrs Macdonald is claiming she has a mandate to try again, saying that her campaign for re-election clearly stated her intention of trying to reintroduce a bill. Peter Kearney, speaking for the Roman Catholic Church in Scotland, said, It's difficult to imagine that public opinion could have shifted in such a short period of time. The vote showed Scottish public opinion is not in favour of euthanasia. Well, that's all for this week. For more information and regular updates on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.